हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज मैन आफ फ्रॉम सिविल सेंटर एंड आई वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू बैक टू आर चैनल सो फ्रेंड्स इन टूडे वीडियो विल स्टार्ट डिस्कसिंग ऑन स्टील स्ट्रक्चर सो वी हैव स्टार्टेड दिस वीडियो सीरीज ऑन स्टील स्ट्रक्चर एंड इन टूडे इस वीडियो विल गिव ए ब्रीफ इंट्रोडक्शन एंड विल डिस्कस अबाउट सम ऑफ द कनेक्शन इन स्टील स्ट्रक्चर सो बेसिकली स्ट्रक्चर वॉट इज अ स्ट्रक्चर so any structure has been classified into major three types that is rcc structure which is reinforced concrete structure which you see more commonly these days and second one is steel structure which is made of structural steel and the third one is composite structure which is made or the structure is a combination of your steel structure and your rcc structure so there are three types of structure and a structure is any system of connected parts which carry a load so now we have discussed about structure and we have discussed about the types of the structure so why steel structure is necessary so as you know that we as a population or as a civilization are being more popular more aware or more conscious about environmental pollution as you know that 7% of the total pollution in the environment is caused by the cement industry so due to this efforts are being made to reduce the costs of the reduce the amount of cement being produced globally so so we are looking now at alternative materials and uh, we are looking at constructing more and more steel structures so that's why uh knowing the design of steel structure and knowing about the uh, steel structure and uh, increasing the awareness about the steel structure is important so in this video we'll discuss some of the basics what are the connections in the steel structure basically what are the types of connections as per their types of joints or the types of uh, joint member used so and then we'll also dis uh, discuss about some type of structure based on their loading that is static structure and a dynamic structure and which type of uh, connections are used in these types of structures so we'll discuss them also and after the video i want to all know all of your comments on which on which topics on which further topics you want uh, more videos in this series so now we'll get started with our presentation and we'll discuss about the connections connections in steel structure so these are the connection types based on the connecting medium so what are the connection types so as you can see here the first connection type is welded connection it is also known as rigid connection and after that the second connection type is the bolted connection as you can see in this figure these are the bolts and these are the bolted connection so this is the second type of connection based on the type of medium used and the third type of connection is our riveted connection as you can see rivets are being used here so these are the three types of connections we'll discuss about these connections in details now let us first know about what is a structure so as i had dis dis discussed so as i had discussed in my introduction a system of connected parts used to support a load so this is a very simple definition of a structure a structure is a system of connected parts used to support a load so examples of structures in civil engineering terms are buildings bridges and towers so these are the examples of structure now what are the broad classifications of the structure so major classifications of the structure we see around are rcc structure steel structure and composite structure so we had already discussed this about the structure now let us moving move forward now we'll see types types of steel structure based on load so the types of steel structure based on load are static and dynamic so what is the static and dynamic so static structures are those in which the loading the loading is independent of time and the dynamic structures are those in which the loading is dependent on time so now let us understand this static and dynamic type of structures simply with the help of an example so here static structure so static structures example is 
buildings up to one or two stories height that is buildings having g plus one g plus two having two to three numbers of floors these are the static structures now in static structures welded connections and bolted connections are used so these two types of connection that is welded connection which is also a rigid type of connection and the bolted connections so these two types of connections are used in the static structures that is the structures in which the load is not dependent on time now let us move forward and see what are the dynamic structures so dynamic structures are the structures in which the load is dependent on time for example railway bridges now as you can see in this picture we have a bridge here when the when the rail or the train will come then you can find that the load will vary gradually it will be uniformly varying load so it will not be the same everywhere so it is varying with time this is a dynamic load and the structure is also dynamic so in these dynamic structures riveted connections are used riveted connections are used in this type of dynamic structures as well as you can use bolted connections here also you can use high strength bolts in this railway bridges also so bolted connections are used both in dynamic and as well as your static structure but welded connections are used only for the static structure and riveted connections are used for the dynamic structures so now these type of connections have their advantages and disadvantages and we'll discuss them we'll discuss uh, about the uh, advantages or and disadvantages of uh, riveted connections and bolted connections and their comparisons and we'll discuss anything related to steel which you suggest in our comment section so please do comment us which further videos on steel structure you want us to give you you want us to present so see you in the next video and if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet please do subscribe and also hit the like button because it helps us a lot because by doing so you show your support to us